2024 is the best year there has ever been to become a software engineer. The past 24 months have been rough for the tech industry, with layoffs left, right, and center, and tech employees scrambling to find jobs. Fortunately, after every rainstorm, there is a rainbow. If you're just joining the tech industry in 2024, you're about to stumble upon the pot of gold that lays at the end. And if you're not, you're really going to regret missing out on the perfect time to join in a couple of years. After a predicted economic recession and overhiring during COVID-19, the industry was bound to have some layoffs. But the recession didn't end up hitting as hard as expected, and with new technologies like AI and VR ramping up, the industry is clamoring for more software engineering talent. With big companies looking to start innovating again, and startups looking to grow quickly, now is the best time to become a software engineer. But wait, why should you even become a software engineer? Well, that depends. Do you want to make a lot of money? Do you want a stable 9 to 5 job? Do you want to work on some of the world's leading innovations? If you answered yes to any of these, becoming a software engineer is a no-brainer. And if you answered no to any of them, you might need some help. But I'm just some random guy on YouTube saying that. Where's any of the proof that you can actually achieve these things? Well, let's start with the money claim. The average salary for an entry-level software engineer in the US is $113,000. That's over three times the average salary for entry levels in the US, which is $33,000. This means on average, a software engineer in their first year of work makes three times as much of their peers. If you're really hardworking and willing to put in the hours to study for interviews, you can land an entry-level role at a big tech company. Think Google, Microsoft, ETC where the pay for an entry level is just shy of $200,000. All of this is just in your first year of working. Five years in, the average software engineer makes close to $150,000, while working at a big tech company can net you upwards of $400,000. And of course, the more you learn and grow, the higher this number can climb. It really just depends on how much you're willing to learn and put in the effort. Some software engineers earn upwards of a million dollars a year after around 10 to 15 years in the industry. But money doesn't matter if you're stressed out about losing your job. Well, it's a good thing that software engineering is also an incredibly stable field. At most tech companies, software engineering is the most secure job. Software engineers are the first to be hired and the last to be laid off. The reason for this is that tech companies make money off of their products and their products can only be built by software engineers. As important as marketing and sales and everyone else who contributes to a company are, the core product relies on software engineers to build it. After all, there's nothing left to market or sell if nobody's there to build it. And what many non-technical people don't realize is that there's no handbook to building software. The longer you work at a company, the more familiar you become with the product. And the more knowledge you gain, the more of a massive loss it is if you ever left that company. If you're the expert on a particular sector of your technology, the company will do anything to avoid losing you and having to spend years retraining someone else. For those reasons alone, software engineering is an incredibly stable job. In fact, most software engineers are regularly recruited on platforms like LinkedIn because of how badly tech companies need good talent. Well, as a result of this, software engineers have had quite a lot of leverage over the past decade and have basically enforced a 40-hour workweek standard in the industry. Most tech companies have you clock in at 9am and clock out at 5pm, which is an incredible work-life balance when you also consider the high salaries we just talked about. If software engineers are paid so much and have a such a good work-life balance, why don't more people do it? Well, the only reason is, most people don't know where to start. If you were given a guide on how to become a software engineer, anyone could do it. In fact, a carpenter with no coding experience could become a software engineer in only four months if they were provided the right materials. Well, the sponsor of this video, Course Careers, actually did have a carpenter with no prior experience become a software engineer in just four months. Course Careers is a platform that provides you with a clear roadmap to get hired as a software engineer. They have completely free software development fundamentals introductions course, so you can see if you like it. And if you do, you can purchase any of their specialization courses, including things like backend engineering, front end, and DevOps. And if you use the link in my description, you'll get an extra $50 off any course you purchase. Start the free software development introduction course with Course Careers now. 
Speaking of skills needed for the job, let me get to the final point of why I think software engineering is the best career to start in 2024, and that is that you get to work on technologies that are shaping the future. Our world is already run by technology, but over the next 30 years, we are going to see advancement like never before. AI and machine learning are exploding, with companies like OpenAI pioneering the way for over 60,000 companies in the AI space. Artificial and virtual reality are getting ramped up to become mainstream, with the release of the Apple Vision Pros, which will require millions of apps to be developed just as mobile phones did over the past 15 years. Robotics and human-computer interaction are seeing significant development, with companies like Neuralink developing technology-controlling microchips, if watching all of these innovations be developed by others. But as a software engineer, you'd be the one actually developing them. It's very fulfilling to know that your work drives the world forward and helps out millions of people, all while you're able to be compensated very well and still have a great balance outside of work. Software engineering is the place to be in 2024. If you don't start today, you'll look back in a couple years and regret not getting in now. With YouTube channels like mine offering free learning content and platforms like Course Careers preparing you for a career in just a few months, it's easier than ever before to break into the industry. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're a software engineer or someone who has decided they want to be, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video. Thanks, and I'll see you all next time.